Hello, this is Gio. Hey, look what we have here. We have another battery review, and this time this is a 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery from Greener Power, or maybe Grenner Power. I'm not quite sure, but we'll get it out of the box and see what we have today. Okay, so just opening up the box, you have a couple of product cards here. The first one looks like is just more advertisement. Uh, put that aside. This is a service card, which gives you some information. And then on the back, it actually gives you a little bit of product uh, overview information. So this is a normal volt battery of 12.8 volts, 100 amp hour battery here. Uh, let's say charging, or it just says capacity. If you use 12 amps, will be 300 minutes, etc. The energy is up to 1280 uh, watt hours. It does contain, the case itself does contain four uh, prismatic batteries inside. Some statistics about the uh, charging performance and discharging performance. And right here it shows you the actual dimensions of the battery. And this is a pretty small battery for the 100 amp hour capacity. Uh, 9 inches by 8.3 by 5.4 inches. Uh, this is on the smaller end of lithium iron phosphate batteries. Now the weight of the battery on this card actually says it's 26.4 pounds. Now I don't think that's correct. I think that might be a typo or maybe that weight is for an older version of this battery. Uh, on Amazon I looked up some, uh, There's, it, it's unclear on Amazon also. You see uh, some postings that actually show the mini as 20.8 nine pounds and uh, also I saw something that showed it at 22.6 pounds. Now I did weigh this battery and I, I'm thinking around 22 pounds is probably more reasonable. This 26 pounds is uh, too heavy. I think that's a typo. Okay, so inside the box you can see how it was packed. It just has these foam that was, has this foam on top there and just these little foam cutouts all around so we'll pull that out and then it, it's in a little plastic container there we'll, we'll get this out of the box and see what it looks like okay so this is what it looks like out of the box you uh, can see the 12.8 volts 100 amp hour uh, it is the mini uh, 1280 watt hours shows the lithium iron phosphate deep cycle batteries. Now these, again, these are not for car batteries. This is deep cycle. You want to use them for either solar uh, panels, RVs, or just for electric powering devices in your home. Let's say your power goes off or you need portable power. Uh, this with an inverter can give you AC power. Without an inverter, it's just DC. Now here on the lower left, it does give you a website you can check out, www.greenerpower.com. Now I uh, try to look that up, it didn't pop up for me. Uh, for some reason, uh, I'm not sure if it's a dead website or if it just hasn't been created. Uh, it, the, it was manufactured in China, maybe for some reason there's some kind of blockage for the website, I don't know, but that's something you should be aware of. I couldn't get to this website. Uh, now, there is an Amazon storefront that you can uh, check out uh, and the service uh, email, the service .green, at greener.power.com does work. Uh, so you can get a hold of them. Uh, and here's some company information. But again, the website doesn't work for some reason and I can't get any information about this battery really outside of Amazon. So if you're thinking about getting a lot of these batteries, you may be a little bit discouraged that you just can't get a hold of the company. Now on back, it looks like it's just a uh, blank uh, blue there. And up on top, again, greener power, 12.8 volts, 100 amp hour mini. Now it does come with these handy uh, uh, carrying handles right here. Again, it's kind of a lighter battery. Uh, I'm estimating around 22 pounds. It's small uh, and so you could lift it re reasonably easy. I'm not sure how long these handles will last. They could potentially break um, after a lot of usage, but if you just want to move it from one place to another infrequently, I think these handles will work out really well. If you're using them for daily uh, lugging of this battery, 
I think maybe the handles will eventually break on you. And currently the positive and negative terminals are protected by this little, these little rubber uh, caps here. And they already come with these little uh, um, lugs for the terminals, which uh, seem pretty tight. So we'll get a wrench and loosen those up. So normally batteries come up with some kind of charge. I have my uh, multimeter here. I just want to test it out to see what we get. And we're currently getting 13.06 volts. So it does have a little bit of a charge, but does need probably a little more charging. So I will attach this to my charger and get it to full charge before we start testing this thing. So I got this hooked up to my charger and set it to 10 amps and you can charge it with a 20 amp charger, but I, I like to charge these things a little lower. So I'm using 10 amps and we will be back uh, once it's fully charged. Okay, so after about four to six hours of charging, I wasn't really paying attention. My charger did turn off saying that it was fully charged. And so now it's showing me at 13.24 volts. So not much of an increase, but uh, we were originally above the 12.8 normal volt rating. Typically you would uh, charge it above that rating. So, um, so not much of an increase, but uh, lithium ion phosphate batteries typically keep a constant voltage until they finally drop at the very end. Unlike lead acid batteries for cars, which are meant to really uh, shoot out the voltage initially, and then they dive down really rapidly after they start a car. So these are more of a consistent voltage until finally dropping off at the end. So I don't pretend to be a battery expert. I don't have a solar array on top of my house and I don't own an RV, but I do periodically have use for portable battery power supplies. Now, I, again, I don't have fancy equipment to test this thing out, but I do have a 1500 watt oil heater, which I plan to connect to this and see how long that will actually charge that heater. And so we're going to be uh, monitoring the voltage and also amperage coming out of it. And uh, we'll see exactly if it lives up to this 100 amp hour rating. Okay, so here's my setup. We have our battery right here. I have a 1000 watt pure sign inverter right here to convert from DC to AC power, which will power the um, 1500 uh, watt uh, oil heater, which I have here. Now it is 1500 watt heater, only a thousand watt inverter. So I'm not going to turn this on all the way. I'm probably going to set it to medium uh, so it doesn't uh, blow out the inverter. But I also have the inverter plugged in to a old fashioned flip clock, as you can see here. Uh, already the time is 12 o'clock. So when I power on the inverter, start drawing energy from the battery, the clock will start when the inverter cuts off because the battery's dead, the clock will stop. So that's how I'm going to time the thing. And then I have a multimeter where, where I could actually uh, measure the amps coming off of the battery and the inverter will, uh, will measure the voltage coming in and the wattage. Okay. So for the heater, I'm going to just hit it to medium setting. So, uh, We'll see how much amps that will be pulling. And then again, when I power on the inverter, the clock will start. And so we'll go ahead and hit the on switch. You can hit the, hear the fan of the inverter and hopefully it'll start displaying something. So it looks like the inverter is measuring 12.4 volts in and it's drawing about 800 uh, watts currently or 799. And of course the heater is on and I'm starting to feel the warmth. Already a minute has passed on our clock. And so our multimeter is showing that it's drawing about uh, 69 amps currently from the battery. So we have about 69 amps in the battery, 12.4 volts at about 800 watts. So uh, that's the start of the test. Okay, so to do our initial calculation, again, we're assuming it says it's a 100 amp hour battery. 
and we're currently drawing about an average, let's just say 70 amps, so equals, and so that will take us to about 1.4 to 1.43 hours. So that's a, just under an hour and a half. And so we're currently four minutes into the test. So uh, maybe around between 120 to 130, this clock should stop. Okay, so we're 24 minutes into the test. Check our amps here. Looks like we're at 69.2 amps. And then, let's see. Looks like we're at 12.3, 12.4 volts and 190, or excuse me, 798 watts. Okay, we're into 43 minutes into the test. About halfway, we'll check the average amps. It's still about 69.3 amps. And let's see, the voltage is still 12.3 and we're still drawing uh, 797 watts. Okay, so one hour, 14 minutes. We'll go ahead and check the amps. Uh, 71.2 amps, 71.1. And we are at 12 volts, so it's starting to go down. And 109, or 797 watts. Okay, so it looks like it's doing pretty well at one hour and 28 minutes. The voltage is actually dropping quite a bit. It's at 10.6 volts. Uh, it's drawing seven, what's that, 746 watts. It looks like it's starting to get to the end of the test. The amps, it's still at about 70 amps. And, but I think the voltage is starting to drop so low that the inverter is about to go out. So probably in the next few minutes. Okay, so at one hour and 29 minutes into the test, the inverter finally turned off because the voltage was just too low and the test has ended. And so going back to our calculation, uh, I would say we probably average about 70 amps during the entire test, sometimes a little lower, sometimes a little higher. So multiply that by the time. So uh, one hour and 29 minutes is about 1.48 hours, so multiply. And there you go, we have 103.6 amp hours. And so yes indeed, the battery lived up to its 100 amp hour name. And there you go, that is the 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate deep cycle battery from Greener Power. So Greener Power does advertise this battery as being able to uh, charge for over 4,000 different cycles, which should probably bring you to about eight to 10 years worth of usage uh, on this battery. Now, clearly I didn't test it for that many cycles, but for what I tested it for, it did uh, tests for over the 100 amp hour, at least for the first cycle. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please hit that like button at the bottom of the screen, and even consider subscribing to my channel. I have many more videos to come. Bye-bye.